So many people ask me, Anthony, give me some of your favorite all-time applications. And you should see their reaction when I tell them that one of my all-time favorites is Microsoft Project, particularly the latest version, Microsoft Project 2013. Yeah, they kind of look at me with that head cocked to the side look like my dog looks at me when I ask him to answer the telephone. Folks, I absolutely love Microsoft Project 2013, and it's helped make me a success in my career over the years, and I find myself using it more and more and more. In this micro nugget, I'm going to prove to you why you should consider loving Microsoft Project. So your boss just emailed you and he said he desperately needs your help. He has dropped the ball on something and you need to bail him out. You need to, and this was in his email, you need to, in phase one, review section one of this important document, go ahead and rewrite that particular section, and then proof your finished rewrite. And then in phase two, he needs you to plan section two, write section two, and review section two. He lets you know that you need to get this done just as soon as you can. You need to work full time on it, and there's a huge bonus for you at the end if you can get all of this done within a certain time period. So, it is Microsoft Project 2013 to the rescue. I'm going to go ahead and cut this information out of the email and let's paste it into the powerful Microsoft Project application. So here we are in project. I'm going to go ahead and open a new blank project. I'm going to go ahead and click in my first task name and I'm going to hit control V on the keyboard and I'm going to paste all that information in from the email. I've got an extra task row here due to the carriage return in the email. I'll delete that task. And now notice that these are all tasks that have to do with phase one. I'll go ahead and indent them and they become subtasks under phase one. How cool. And we can see that project is already going to start summarizing these as part of phase one. I'll highlight these three tasks that my boss sent me and I'll indent those. So those are under phase two. Now we go in and we start thinking about durations for these various tasks. And in fact, before we do that, we're going to do something really interesting. I'm going to go up to project and I'm going to change my working time. I know there's a huge bonus at the end of this. And I'll tell you, it's well worth it to me to go ahead and work this upcoming Saturday. So I'm going to go ahead and select this upcoming Saturday. And I'm going to say, this is an exception. I want to work. We're going to go into the details of that particular day. And I'm going to set my working time. I'm going to go ahead and work a full eight hour day on that particular Saturday to help get this project done. All right, here we go. For reviewing section one, well, I really think I can get that done in one day. So I'm going to enter one day for that particular task. For rewriting section one, I think I can get that done in two days. For proofing section one, boy, I really think I can get that done in four hours. Planning section two, one day. Writing section two, three days and reviewing section two one day. So I've gone in and I've sketched out just how long I think each of these tasks is going to take me. Now, let me go ahead and link these tasks together. I'll drag this task down to this one because rewriting section one certainly needs to follow reviewing section one. And rewriting section one needs to preempt the proofing of section one. So we're just taking these tasks and we're dragging them over each other in the Gantt chart view to link them together. All right, look at this. Microsoft Project tells us that the way I've sketched this out will be done on Monday 527 in this particular or for this particular project. Well, I went in and manually scheduled everything. And we've 
we're fine with this, but now what we want to do is we want to take these manually scheduled tasks that I did, and we want Microsoft Project to have control over their scheduling. For instance, I look at this and I realize, you know what? I can do the rewrite of section one in just one day, and Microsoft Project will adjust everything for us. And in fact, we're going to finish now with a few hours to spare on Friday, the 24th. In fact, I'm going to add celebration. Absolutely. And I'm going to take four hours to celebrate on that particular day. And by the way, we're going to receive a nice bonus on that particular day as well. This is going to come at the very end of our project. And I'm going to go ahead and double click this particular task. I'm going to go in under advanced and I'm going to mark this task as a milestone. Yeah, this four hours of celebration that we're going to do on Friday the 24th is going to be a real milestone. We're going to collect our bonus check. Our boss is going to be absolutely thrilled with us. And by the way, as I go through and work on this project, we can make changes. And of course, we can record our progress. So as we finish tasks, we can go in and mark those tasks as complete. Do you see the power of Microsoft Project? And let me tell you, we're taking advantage of about 10% of what this absolutely amazing application can do for you in this demonstration. So why Microsoft Project 2013? Well, it's simple. You could be an absolute hero in your career. That's right. You will get things done in a manner like never before. And the product is very easy to work with, as you saw, very powerful, and we just scratched the surface. And hey, you know, think about it. Everything in your life, most everything in your life is indeed a project. So I'd like you to consider CBT Nugget Training on this amazing application with me here at, of course, CBT Nuggets. Well, I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.